All right, do it with me. <laughs> Come on, do it with me. The light switch technique. What we're gonna talk about today is the light switch technique of when it comes to relationships. See, what many people do is they use the sunset. They're in a relationship and then all of a sudden the relationship is kind of like a sunset where it's going, 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 gone. I mean, think about this. Think about the relationships that you had when you were in high school versus what you have now, or even go back five years. The, the people that you spend time with is probably different than who you spend time with now because we have seasons in our life. Some relationships are meant for a season. Some relationships are meant for the whole career. So here's what I'd like for you to consider. Identify your next pillar post. We talk a lot about that, and you can look for a video on, on explaining the pillar post deeper. We need to identify our pillar post that we're going towards. See, oftentimes what we do is we overshoot goals, and, and we got to have a destination that we're moving to. Now, once we identify that pillar post, we've got to look at, okay, do I have the right relationships for, to get me from where I'm going right now, where I'm at right now, to where I'm going? And oftentimes what we find is we're oftentimes spending time with people that we don't necessarily need to be spending time with. It's just what we're used to. Here's where I'm going to challenge you. Learn to make decisions on relationships, much like a light switch where relationships take energy. And just like when you leave a room, you turn the light switch off so that you're not wasting energy. I kind of look at relationships the same way. When I'm not currently in a relationship with someone, meaning it's active, I turn energy off. Now, here's the great thing about that. When, an, when a relationship is, comes back in your life, you can choose to turn that light switch back on and give it energy. We only have so much energy um, throughout the day or throughout our lifetime, and if we waste energy in places that it's not um, sustainable, we're gonna find that we're gonna have a tough time reaching the goals that we wanna reach. So sometimes what we have is we walk out of a room and we go to turn the light switch off and it's still taking energy. Oftentimes I find this with people that are really close to us, people that we have those emotions around. Now I'm a big fan of, we don't need to justify who we're in relationship with. I mean, remember back when maybe you were dating someone and you realized it just wasn't the path that you wanted to go on. And then you try to justify, or as one of my friends says, just a lie, why we're no longer choosing to be in that relationship. See, when you do that, in order for you to be right, you have to make someone else wrong. And oftentimes when you try to justify why you're moving on from a relationship, you look like an idiot, especially if there's emotions involved. So my suggestion is this, don't, just walk away. We call this um, allowing time on task over time, meaning ghosting. And, and again, not everybody will like that, and that's okay. From their perspective, you're probably in, <laughs> that's where I would normally swear, but on YouTube, I hear that they're not a big fan of that. So what I find is if you're emotionally charged, be careful looking to justify why you're leaving a relationship. Most likely, you're not going to, um, get through to that other person. The result's gonna be the same. And, and what I found looking back and connecting the dots is, when I'm emotionally charged around someone, I can be a jerk. Meaning, meaning when it, it's kind of like a, a wounded animal in the corner. Sometimes you lash out and, and you say things that you don't mean. And what I find is sometimes it's better just to cut the power. Meaning, even if they wanna bring energy back to that relationship, when you cut the power, it stops that from happening. And so if you're leaving a relationship, and, and I think you know sometimes you've had a relationship where you've been more than just friends, it's tough just going back to just being friends. You know what I mean? So we've got the light switch technique, and then we've got cut the power. When we can start to make decisions and have standards and principles about relationships, what we're able to do is we are to move forward faster for the inevitable. And I guarantee you this, the relationships that you have today, they're going to be different five years from now, 10 years from now. The question is, how fast do you move on from relationships when that season's passed? And I, I, I can promise you this, the faster you recover, the faster you make decisions on what relationships should be in your space, the faster you'll end up getting to your goals, the faster you'll end up having the life that you desire but it's only if you can make decisions.
And in another video, we'll talk about being able to make decisions versus sabotaging until decisions are made for you. If you're looking for more success in your life, have the ability to make decisions based on standards and principles so you don't get feelings involved. Feelings oftentimes puts a, um, a, a filter on our lenses and it doesn't give us clarity as to what we're really going for. So if you like this video, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the notifications, the bell. And um, if we get good traction with this, you guys are liking what we're doing, we'll continue to spend time and energy on this. So anyways, thanks so much for showing up and we leave a comment in, in the page.